Hello, this is Jim with DC Digital. Today I'm demonstrating a DC Dash 10, and it is a 10T down up static display, and it is an RS-232 data display, so it really depends on the data coming in uh, through its RS-232 port on exactly what it's going to perform, the duties that it's going to perform. And I've got it connected to a laptop right now through this COM port and RS-232 COM port, uh, USB to COM port uh, converter, RS-232 converter, and then RS-232 into this. Uh, this is a DC-10, so it's a one-inch display. And the customer just wanted to order it without the enclosure. They're going to put it in their own enclosure. Uh, requires 12 volts in, so we have a 120 wall adapter that's powering it. And as you can see, it's counting down, so I've punched in the countdown function of the uh, code. It's a multi-function uh, uh, display, so you're going to be able to count up, count down, just a static display, and then counters. Uh, and then the static display can have colons or no colons. This uh, specific codes uh, will you can um, put in uh, anywhere from a it's coded to perform uh, addressable it's addressable so I think this one's a a B or a a this one's a a and they wanted another one so we made it a B so those are hard coded now you can put in star star at the end and it will go to broadcast everywhere but the um, the program that I'm using is what they call Teramite, and uh, it's just a de it's just a terminal program. But first, I want to show you the code. You go to our website and uh, go to your part number, and then here we have the DC Digital proprietary code protocol, and this gives you instructions on how to set up your code that you're going to send it. You can do it through a PLC or a laptop or a computer or your cell phone, whatever. Uh, but this is uh, strictly the code for this specific um, DC-10. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you some of the data that I'm sending in. So um, go to Teramite. And right now I've put in TD, which is for, obviously you guessed it, timer down. And then one would represent that um, you set and start the timer. And then zero is set and hold the value. Two is to pause the timer. And then TD3 is to resume it. And you can see that on your list of protocol setups. So timer down's got four functions, set and hold, set and start, and then pause, and then resume your timer. As you can see, here's, I just printed it out. Here is the uh, protocol, and I just printed it out from our PDF on our web page. So let's say you just wanted time of day. So let's put in time of day and I'll show you that real quick. And then uh, we want it to be broadcasted just to this address. And so this address is AA. So I'm gonna, going to uh, put in T, which is your first byte. And then C is your time of day. And then we're gonna make it, uh, let's say 24 hours. So I'm gonna put in a two. So 12 hour PM is zero, 12 hour AM is one, 24 hour formats a two, and then we'll put in whatever time of day it is. It is zero two o'clock in the afternoon, and we want AA. Go ahead and send that. And as you can see, we have 02 o'clock. It's actually two o'clock in the afternoon, so I put in the incorrect code for PM. So T. C, and then I'm going to put in 2 for 24 hour, and then it should be 2 in the afternoon, should be 1400, and then AA, and we'll hit go. And as you can see, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. From that point, once you hit or you actually send the data, it starts counting. Let's just do a static number display real quick, and then um, We'll end this video. So let's say you just want a static number and you want it uh, 
with colons. Let's say you want it with colons. So you're going to put in TD, or TS, I'm sorry, TS, and then we're going to put in one, two, three, four, five. Let's do this, four, five. And then we want it to go to, let's see, one is with colon, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll put an AA because we want to address this one this specific display, and there you see 2345 with a colon. If you want to do it without a colon, then you're going to put in TS, and then we're going to put in a um, zero, and then two, three, four, five, and then we'll put AA, and then we're going to hit send, and then without the colon. And of course you do, and you can put in decimals too, so we have you want to represent decimals. And I'll just do this real quick. TS decimal would be two. And then let's just put in threes, AA. I hope I got that right, two. And, and then you've got 33.33. It's just a couple of the functions I'm demonstrating. But like I said, you can do time of day clock. You can do count up timer. You can go do countdown timer, static display. The count up timer is neat because you can do a set and hold value there with that, set and start, same function, pause and resume the timer and uh, gives you total flexibility uh, of the display through your RS-232 uh, data input. It is 8N and 1, uh, no handshake, 9600 baud, pretty, pretty normal industry standard. So again, this is Jim with DC Digital, and today I'm demonstrating the DC-10 T-DN-UP-STATIC multifunction um, addressable um, number display. Thanks for watching.